Do I know what happened in the crib? I don't know what happened. You feel me? Now, if he sit there and put his hands on her and, and you know, kicked her out, do I agree with that? I don't feel like under no circumstances she should get kicked out. When If y'all build, y'all got to try. Check her ass, nigga. You hear me? Get put on dick restriction. God damn it. If you take care of everything in the crib, cut the finances down. You feel me? You cut the finances. Okay, well, look. I ain't no taking you here or that till we get this in order. If we, if we, it hell, if we going to not agree, it happens in every household. It's just that when you get on a public platform, everything is more magnified. You know, that's the only thing I don't like. Because, see, I treat people the way I want to be treated. Like, motherfuckers will be in the comments like, da -da 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 -da. so you ain't got shit going on in your house. You ain't got nothing going on. In so everybody on the internet going to tell me this is the first time you heard about a nigga putting their hands on a female. If he did it. If he did it. If he did it. Is this the first time? And now, this is what I don't like neither. We not just gonna jump on here and take up for her ass every time, every time a motherfucking goddess or bitch. Cause she's either a bitch or she's a goddess. I don't know. Cause I don't know her soul. But I do know some shit I see that ain't right. At the end of the day, every time a bitch or a goddess say some shit, the world wanna just take it and run with it. You can't do that. That's why the divine masculine energy is coming back on the planet right now because there was too much divine feminine energy. I told y'all this shit a long time ago. They never took the, the they never killed the divine feminine energy on the planet because it cannot be destroyed. The divine fem, feminine energy was first. This is what makes the black woman God. And this is the same reason why you're supposed to practice polygamy. And any goddess that don't agree with me, then don't be agreeing with the fact your ass God. Accept the motherfucker. If you gonna accept that white man version, that we ain't supposed to practice polygamy, because that's what it's saying. They lost. It was a white man that came and told you that you ain't supposed to practice polygamy, nigga. For real. You know. You know what I'm saying? A white man set that law. Look it up right now. Polygamy is illegal. Look it up. Look it fucking up. But it ain't illegal for me to stick my dick in another dude ass right now if I want to. I can fuck the shit out of a whole nother dude and go marry him. And we know that cosmically that is illegal. Astrally, that's illegal. If 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 we wanted the man to be with the man and make and get married, motherfucker, then the goddess would have never created your monkey ass. It just would have been all goddesses, nigga. You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? They created you to slang that dick. That's a big part of it. They create, listen, you got to remember, these goddesses created us in the beginning. They created us in the beginning. So why do you think, once again, the penis is nothing more than an extended vagina, than, than the clitoris? Your penis is a clitoris. That's what it is. The clitoris sticks in, the penis sticks out. We talking science, nigga. I don't give a fuck about who watch. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't give a fuck. You can unfollow me. I will never lie to a motherfucker. You hear me? I don't force polygamy on y'all. But yes, if you're not practicing polygamy, your ass is so spiritually lost. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because this is what I tell. This is what I've told goddesses all the time. You know how many goddesses I've been set with, talked to? And I'll be like, look, I get as soon as I mention polygamy. I'm not, I don't know. I can't not, 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 I can't. But you can sit here and accept that you God though, huh? So you vibrating low. That's a selfish spirit and you just like, you're not a goddess. You're still a bitch trying to find it all out. That's what you are. Because you're not going to sit here and say, yeah, the black woman God and believe it. But then turn around and be like, I don't know about polygamy. How the fuck you going to step around the whole science, motherfucker? You selfish bitch. See, that gets that. That gets that. They get selfish bitch energy all day. And I'm going to call you that. Bitch. What? Yes. Bitch, that's what you are. No longer are you that goddess. Because you just dropped in frequency, you selfish motherfucker. How the fuck can you be like, accept the fact the black woman is God? How, what makes her God? What makes her God? What makes her God? The fact she was first, motherfucker. So therefore, she outnumbers man 10 to 1. Motherfucker, you stupid ass bitch. You outnumber niggas ten to one, and you 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 want you want one nigga to yourself, and then you wonder why you will never. I keep telling y'all, I don't give a fuck what that nigga telling you. He will never be. Listen, listen. 
Y'all can get mad at me all y'all want. The fact, facts don't give a fuck about your feelings, nigga. I'm talking to all the bitches right now. Because a guy that completely understands it. I get it. And if you don't accept polygamy, then, then don't be accepting that the black woman is God. You can't, you can't have your cake and eat the cake. Either you're going to eat your fucking cake or you're going to look at your cake and, and just a, admire how beautiful it is. You can't have the cake and eat it too. That don't even go together. So if you don't believe, if you don't accept polygamy, that's cool. But you take your ass over there and go ahead and believe in Jesus again. You might as well believe in the Bible. You might as well go back to believing in the Bible. Ain't no need to wearing no crystals and ashe. Go on with that fake ass energy, you selfish ass bitch. Call you what you is, a selfish ass bitch. I'd rather talk to the bitches that know they bitches. Because they like, hey look, I don't agree with none of that polygamy shit. And I also don't believe that we know gods. And I, and I believe Jesus is real. Now I expect a female that's on that energy to say something like that. That makes sense. She believes in Jesus. She do not believe that the black woman is God. She don't believe that we're not from this planet. None of that. She accepts the theory that was taught to her through religion. So that makes sense for her to be like, I don't accept polygamy. That, that makes sense. But you can't sit here and try to come on our side like you with us and learn metaphysics, which is the true esoteric fact that the black woman is God. But then, when polygamy gets mentioned, you're not even trying to look at it from a scientific point. You're not asking, why is it illegal? Why is out of all the opinions that you could have in this world? Because polygamy is a preference and an opinion it should be, right? That's the only opinion in the world that's illegal. And, and, and this is me talking to y'all on a high spiritual frequency. This ain't me forcing nothing on you. Anybody been following me, I've been told y'all polygamy is the way a year and a half ago. I don't make lecture after lecture about polygamy, but it has to come up in certain situations like this young pharaoh shit. You feel me? And then look, everybody articulate their way, they self differently. So when he was like, I, I see everybody got mad because they were like, how can he say the black woman is God and then turn around and call their ass bitches? This is what he really meant. This is what I think he meant. I watched the video. I watched it, right? Look, I look at shit with my third eye open. A lot of times when you are very passionate and you try to express yourself about something strongly, then words can get took wrong, especially when motherfuckers are already looking for a reason to take your words wrong anyway. I get that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker already looking for some a chink in my armor. So if I do word it wrong, oh that's it. But no, if you if you sit back and think what he was saying, all he basically was saying was this was like when he got to even talking about how this is why black women this is why black men start messing with white women. Yes, that's a, that's a fact. Like, listen, do would I ever mess with a white woman? No, but let's talk real. Our women are so fucked up that that because you know why are the black but why our black goddesses is fucked up? It's not y'all fault. They conquered y'all first, then they conquered us. But yes, the black women are fucked up. You know why? Cause even my wife, that's an argument sometimes. Like she's not used to being told what to do. She's not used to being submissive. So being submissive is something she has to learn. You get it? But I can't just look at my wife. My mama like that. My mama raised the fuck out of us, did a great job. But guess what? I watched my mom lose a lot of good guys that came in her life because she was too fucking independent. So when a guy came in our life to try to help my mom and be there for us, he had to move the fuck around. Cause ain't no God finna let you talk to me kind of motherfucking way. And as the God is, you don't run shit. I run shit. I'm the God. I'm the provider and the protector. I pay all the bills in this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Mortgage, car note. I'm providing. So if I ask your ass to do something, you gonna do it. Any God that don't agree with that, you're a low vibrational bitch. That's not called control. That's called respect. I'm respecting you to make sure your ass ain't got to work. My kids don't work for nothing. My wife don't work for nothing. And I invest 10 racks in her own business. Right? So anything I ask her to do, she better fucking do. Nigga, what you think this is? I pay all the bills. Take care of kids that ain't even mine. Every kid in this house ain't mine. Fuck you talking about? I take care of kids ain't mine. Put you on a pedestal. Show you to the world as this goddess. But then I ask you to do some shit. It's an issue. 
It's an issue? You got me fucked up? Yes, you're going to activate my chaos energy because you're not going to run over me. Because there ain't no God is going to do that to me. A God is going to be like, listen, he's providing and protecting and it's my job to nurture and heal. You hear me? I didn't see goddesses that talked about me. Oh, he must get her under control because her page private. Nigga, yeah, my wife page going to be private. And if you think I got under control, just don't fucking follow me. Fuck is you talking about? Goofy ass bitch. Why? Let her ask, let her be. No, and I, I told her, man, you better, shit better be private and you better not be accepting no motherfuckers that sending you friend requests and go be with them niggas. I and mean, go be with them bitches. You know why? Because I understand social media, nigga. Fuck, you need to follow my wife up. Fuck, you need to contact her in any form so you can try to get in her head and oh, let me get y'all fake ass out of here, bitch. And bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here. You don't need to even be in my life like that. What the fuck is you want to follow my wife up? You know what I'm saying? And if you my wife, you know you my wife. So you know everybody fucking with me and they gonna come try to see what you're doing. If you my wife, why the fuck is you out on Instagram trying to show your pose a certain way? Hold on, you, you represent me. You know how many niggas love the, I love them? I fuck the shit out of Rashad Jamal, wife. Just to say it, because they vibrating low. Yeah, all right. Like I told my wife, put yourself in a position like that if you want to. And I bet your ass be single tomorrow. Fuck out of here. Huh. Now let's see if they gonna take care of your ass. Not only financially, but mentally and spiritually. I know my worth. I don't deserve no headache. You gonna do what I'm asking you to motherfucking do, or you gonna get the fuck on, and I'll bring another goddess in who's gonna be appreciative of my love and my empathy and my true leadership. I'm an alpha. I'm supposed to be that. See, y'all used to dealing with them old beta ass males. There ain't no motherfucking beta ass. I'm an alpha. What I'm supposed to be. I'm a motherfucking leader. You hear me? You gonna talk to me with a certain tone on rage over on none of that. You hear me? Because you're supposed to be feminine energy. So if I got the right. If I get loud, that's testosterone. I'm supposed to be. Hey, 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 what's going on up there? That's what I'm supposed to do. Fuck. But as a goddess, you have no right to. Hold on. Who are you talking to? If you want to communicate with me as my wife or my goddess, you can come to me with feminine energy. Remember, you created me. Goddess, you created me. So don't get mad at me for being me. You're supposed to come to me with feminine energy. Because feminine energy is going to give you a more feminine response from me. If I'm aggressive about something, I got the right. That's masculine energy. I'm not supposed to be full of feminine energy. That's why we got a bunch of sellout bitch made niggas in Hollywood right now. Because all this fucking feminine energy, nigga. Niggas walk around my have a pussy, nigga. That's what's wrong now. All the guys, most of our men, walk around with all this feminine ass energy. Because they mama stole it from them. Mama stole your masculine energy when you was a little ass boy, nigga. Talking to you any kind of way. Yelling at you. Hold on. You don't, as a goddess, you don't raise your motherfucking voice at your son. You're supposed to be able to use your empathy, your feminine energy to sway his, to sway his aggression. But when you come aggressive, now you take his masculine energy, his birthright, and his ass gonna grow up and be a soft-ass nigga laying on some female couch while her ass at work all day. Nigga, fuck out of here. Then you got a bunch of goddesses be like, I want me a real one. You know how many goddesses? Because I practice polygamy, so I, I give out applications. If I like the way you look and I like your energy, you hit me up and your energy right, I'm going to start a conversation with you and try to build with you. You know how many guys I done gave that and as soon as I give them a little attention, now I go on their social media, they just, they all in their story thinking they the shit now. Uh, uh, gone. Immediately. I'm talking about my cutoff game over strong. You know how many guys I take a picture with them or I shout them out, they get 200 followers and I think they off me though and I, they don't even know a nigga no more. Come on, man. I see through that. Cut your water right off. Your ass going to be out here starving. You're not finna, you're not finna, you know, be progressive off my energy or my hard work or my soul contract that the ancestors sent me here to do. I'm on a divine mission. So any guy that's want to deal with me, you got to be a straight gangster ass revolutionary on a Sada Shakur type time. You hear me? If you don't know, I don't need no old pretty ass guy that's around me. I don't need none of that shit. That's how my nigga Duck got killed. You hear me? I don't need none of that old pretty shit around me. Give me a gangster ass, a Sada Shakur ass, revolutionary Goddess, you hear me? When she step out with me every day, nigga, she got three pipes on her because she know my husband a revolutionary. He ain't going out like Martin and Malcolm, nigga. You hear me? I ain't going without no fight. See what I'm saying? I've watched too many of our revolutionaries go like that, nigga. That's why I be, 
own it, nigga. Looking for it. Like, nigga, what's up? Because I know what I speak about. And y'all bitch ass ain't finna put no fear in me to not speak. We, we can get real violent, nigga. Anybody. Anybody, nigga. That's how that shit gonna go, nigga. CIA, FBI, motherfucking Vatican, nigga. Queen of Elizabeth. Any other motherfuckers, nigga. Any house, Negro. Any motherfucking body, nigga. If you ain't with me, you against me, nigga. You hear me, nigga? You better ready to take, take, take my, take my life, niggas. I'm ready to take yours, nigga. You hear me? And I ain't scared. I like that's just real. All this old fake ass energy. So that's how we get the young Pharaoh situation with his baby mama. Fake energy. First off, that was fake on her to even just go out there like that, and then it was fake on him to not have her under, to not have his household intact. You see what I'm saying? You call yourself young Pharaoh. Your household should be intact. Or at the least, cut her goofy ass off then. All right, well, since you ain't want to honor what I'm saying, you young pharaoh, motherfuckers wouldn't even know her ass if they didn't know you. Let's not forget that, y'all. That's what I don't like. You know, motherfucker, the niggas forget the motherfucker put the work in and the motherfucker want to know everybody that behind you that rolled up. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Y'all wouldn't even know her if it wasn't for him. So then, that's why I never let that shit flow with me. You ain't no, no, ain't no need to try to follow my wife. Ain't no need to, none of that. You hear me? Facts. Facts, nigga. Because I got my shit. I run my shit with an iron fist. You know why? Because I deserve that, nigga. I pay every bill over here, nigga. You hear me? And I provide spiritually over here. And not just for my household, for the planet and my people, nigga. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to be sitting back, have one guy to feed me grapes, another one massaging my feet. Why? Why? I don't deserve. Yeah, I do deserve that. You know why? Because I'm a god, so I'm gonna have all that. You hear me? And if you ain't God, a goddess is vibing right. You ain't gonna be around me. You see what I'm saying? Because see, when we talking about polygamy, and then I seen people comment, they like, well, young Pharaoh was using polygamy as a way to be a hoe. I don't know. See what I'm saying? I don't know what he was doing. But I do know this. That we can't use him to be the face card of no motherfucking polygamy. And what happened with him and her and they situation. We can't use that as no face card. You feel me? We can't use that as no face card. Period. We can't use that as no face card. I don't know what the fuck really happened in there. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't either. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, like I said, I'm like Jesus, man. Niggas want to come to me. They want me to stone young Pharaoh. Cause they know I, they know I don't mind stoning the motherfucker. So nigga, it ain't your stony. And there I go like Jesus, nigga. I don't give a fuck what his whole ass did to me. I'm for what's right. So while we talk about young Pharaoh and what's going on his, in his household, so you ain't got no fucked up shit going on in your household. I'm not taking up for nobody. I'm speaking universal facts. What's more important right now? What the fuck young Pharaoh got going on in his household or working on yourself and making sure that you are where you need to be spiritually. Nigga, we in the end game. Nigga, we 14 days away from shit finna hit the fan and you give a fuck what's going on in his household. Y'all hear this? You hear this, God? I know you hear it, God. Oh, goon, we, we there. We there. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that. And they wanted to sit here for this one. You know? You know, that's all I'm looking at. So you mean to tell me, nigga, they just dropped a 40-pound bomb in the middle of the ocean that nobody's talking about, and they think it's a military test, not to mention a few days later, all type of shit got the co collapsing on the floor of the coastline. And you, you give a fuck what the fuck Golden and Young Pharaoh got going on? They don't pay y'all bills. So if anything, they're, they're being used by the Matrix as a distraction to deter you away from your spiritual growth. That's the fuck I wanted to say. That's the fuck I wanted to say. And I wanted to address the polygamy thing. Like, I'm tired of it being attacked like that. I'm at the point where I'm about to go a three-hour lecture into the shit. Because if you're not going to accept it, that don't mean you have to practice it. But you, if you don't accept it, the idea of it, because the thing about polygamy, you just can't go out and go grab three, four goddesses overnight. It don't work like that because they spirits might not be right. And it might be you all might already have a husband. You might already have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And if y'all perfectly fine with that energy, then y'all good with that energy. But you should still be open to the esoteric facts that polygamy, not polygamy. Polygamy is meaning I can have a bunch of wives and my wife can have a bunch of husbands. No. No. That ain't, that ain't what we practice. 
We practice polygamy, meaning the wife can only have me. And I can have as many wives as I see fit. Why? Because I'm the designated leader that she chose. That's the first reason. Well, actually, the first reason is for procreation purposes. So I guess people don't understand what procreation is. Procreation means the art of, of to, 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 to give birth, to make babies, to, to make babies. Let's not forget a big part of why you fucking came here, you selfish motherfuckers. Right? Selfish motherfuckers. All right? Your main reason for coming here is to alter the genet the alter the shift of the energy and to bring new life onto the planet. A woman was like I said, a goddess only has so many eggs, so that means she's limited into how many babies she can produce. This is why we had more than one wife. For the for the fucking reason, the fucking astrological reason, cosmic astral reason of being able to produce more avatars. For souls to enter into this realm. I guess y'all don't ain't good at mathematics. I keep telling you. Why is the black woman God? Because she was first. She has the X chromosome. And the X chromosome is why she outnumbers to this day. Everybody 10 to 1. Let's do some basic motherfucking math. If it's 10 women. 10 gods to every one God. Even if you only take one God. It's going to be a single woman out there. You think her pussy ain't going to get wet? You think she gonna come take your nigga? She will. You think, and him being a god, you think him is naturally in him to go out and hunt. I don't give a fuck how much he say he love you. You, you think he's not loyal to you. He can't be. He could be right there with you, loyal to you in that fashion. But I'm talking about the loyalty y'all want. I don't want to look at nobody else. I don't want to find nobody else attractive. I don't, man, you crazy, man. That nigga, that nigga lusting. He lusting like a motherfucker because he can't release. He can't be himself. Nigga, you let him be himself, he gonna love you more. You're gonna get the best of him. I don't know. I can't agree with that. And that's why your selfish ass, your energy gonna get off the planet. Even people that don't agree with that polygamy, y'all energy gotta go off the planet because y'all slowing down the birth. That's why they made polygamy fucking illegal. So that we don't have more kids. I'm gone. Ten seconds. Peace to the God of God's planet, Kyle. I'm gonna fuck about young Pharaoh and his shit.